Two, substitution method. Step one says to solve for one variable and box the expression. If I look at 2x plus y equals negative 1, if I was going to use this equation, I would solve for y because I could just shift the 2 over. If I try to solve for x, I'd shift the y over, and then I'd have to divide everything by 2. Here on this example, we see that we already have a variable that has been solved. X equals all of this. I'm going to use this one. I don't need to solve for a variable. It's already been given. Step two, substitute the expression into the other equation. I'm going to take x equals all of this stuff. This is what x is. x is 2y minus 13. I'm going to take 2y minus 13 and substitute it in for x. Here's my next equation. 2x plus y equals negative 1. I'm substituting in for x. So that's going to be 2 times all of this stuff. And then I still have plus y equals negative 1. x equals 2y minus 13. First, we had an equation that had two variables. How do you solve for x or y when there's two variables? That is why we're using the substitution method. And when I look at my new equation, my new equation has just y in it. It has one variable, and I can solve for y. Using the distributive property, I have like variables. I have positive y and 4y. 4y plus y is 5y. And now I have a two-step equation. y is being subtracted by 26 and multiplied by 5. Solve for y. we found that y equals 5. All I need to do is find x, and I will have an ordered pair that is a solution to the system of equations. Now that I know what y is, I'm going to substitute this back into the equation that I boxed. This was step 1. This is step 2. And now I have step 3. It says that x equals 2 times y minus 13. So x equals 2 times 5 minus 13. x equals 10 minus 13 is negative 3. My solution then would be when x is negative 3, y is 5. And I'm going to check. My first equation is 2x plus y equals negative 1. And we're going to check if negative 3 positive 5 is a solution. When x is negative 3, y is 5, we get negative 6 plus 5 equals negative 1. We get negative 1 equals negative 1. All right, that was the first equation.
Now the second equation, the second equation was x equals 2y minus 13. We know that x is negative 3. y is 5. And we simplify. 2 times 5 is 10 minus 13. And we see that 10 minus 13 is negative 3. Therefore, negative 3, 5 is a solution to the system of equations. We need to solve for a variable so that we can take and substitute in for that variable and make it a one variable equation. We have just y. We simplify down to find out what that variable y equals. We substitute our answer into where we boxed and we find out the second variable. Substitution method. Step one, isolate a variable. I see that y is already solved for and isolated. I'm going to box this then. The work is already done for me. I'm going to take y equals all of this and substitute it in for y. So 5 times y minus 2x equals negative 16 and y equals this, negative 2x plus 4. y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now I have an equation all in terms of x and I can solve for x. Distributive property. I have like terms that I can combine to start simplifying. Negative 10x, negative 2x is negative 12x. And I still have plus 20 equals negative 16. Now we have a two-step equation. Go ahead and solve your two-step equation. x equals 3, and now I'm going to take and substitute that into the first equation that I boxed. We're substituting in x equals 3. Simplify. We just found that y equals negative 2. My answer then is x is 3, y is negative 2. If we want to get an A or a B on a test, we should check our solution. This works for both equations. Therefore, 3, negative 2 is a solution to the system of equations. There are 13 animals in a barn. Some are chickens. Some are pigs. There are 40 legs in all. How many of each animal are there? We have 13 animals in the barn. Some are chickens, some are pigs. So you could say C 
plus P, chickens plus pigs equals 13. There are 40 legs in all. So we know that the legs equal 40. Well, how many legs does a chicken have? Two. How many legs does a pig have? Four. So that would be 2C plus 4P equals 40 legs in all. There is your system of equations, and now you just solve. Solve for a variable. I'm going to solve for C. We get C equals minus P from both sides, and we get 13 minus P. Now I'm going to take and substitute in for C. C equals all of this, so I'm sub substituting in for C. C equals 13 minus P. And now I have an equation with P. Solve for P. Four P minus two P is two P, so we have twenty six plus two P equals forty, and solve for P. Pigs equals seven. So chickens is 13 minus 7 pigs, and we see that chickens is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. So there are 6 chickens and 7 pigs.